it's back. <laughs> Carolyn. There's a fiesta outside of our okay. apartment. Okay. I'm not sure That's why I wore this. Olay. <laughs> There's a fiesta in here. Woo! Woo! Happy 4th of July. Happy even though 4th of July. The 5th of July. <laughs> it is. We're a little bit late this week because I was on vacation and Carolyn's mom was in town all Yay. week visiting. So we took a couple days off. Everyone so was... So you think you can dance break? Oh, that was clever. <laughs> dance break! Clever. I just well discovered done. that. Funny. Well, all right, so we're back. We just watched both episodes, the performance and the recap tonight, and uh, let's talk about them, shall we? We still have notes. And wait, before we even get start, yes. started talking, I think that we t- typically don't have notes at this point. It's kind of weird that we do. Does that mean that we're not as into the show or that the show is not as interesting this season? Or the show's not into us. Damn. No, the no. Show's I'm not really feeling. I don't feel the connection that I had with some of the characters in last seasons, like Katie and Joshua, or Heidi and Benji and Travis and all of them. I'm not like connected with any of these people. Do you guys agree? Hence, we have to write our notes down. Let's talk about them. Okay. First couple, Jeanette and Brandon. They did a cha cha, and oh yeah, they are really good. I my note said professional. Like it looked like they were professionals. Yes. Too. My computer fan is being very loud. It was doing it the last couple weeks, too. Continue. 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 Um, I, I thought they were fine. I mean, the, again, the boringness is annoying, but... I don't think they were boring, but I don't like them. I don't dislike them. I don't know. Yeah, Brandon's a little weird. Me and Michaels gave Brandon a break, though. Someone yeah. said he looked like a Ninja Turtle, too, which I thought was rude and funny. He kind of does. Yes. Next after that was Kayla and Capono. Capono just gets on my nerves. They did a contemporary? Yes. And it was, like, with Sonia... And they did vamp. They were like vampire. I thought it was cool, She's and I was great. very shocked that they were in the bottom because I thought it was cool. Yeah, but Kayla, Kayla's fantastic. She's just really good. I think Capono, she's gonna win. I'm saying I think Kayla's gonna win. She might. Capono needs to man up a little. Wouldn't you agree? He's so feminine, and it just doesn't work when you're partner dancing, not with a tiny little girl. Yeah. You gotta. I don't know. Yeah, he's gotta step it up a little bit. I thought their dance was cool, and again, surprised they were in the bottom. Yeah. Surprised who wasn't in the bottom? Randy and Evan. Who are next? And they did Evan. Broadway with their, like, Foxy. Who is voting for Evan? If you're voting for Evan, let us know. Because who is really voting for him? I said to Carolyn when we were watching, I said, if, Ev- if this, as soon as Evan gets in the bottom three, he's gone. Because I do not think he can do a solo better than any of the other guys that are there. And yeah. he, I cannot believe that their Broadway routine did not get them in the bottom. We said it looked slow, and it looked they, they were Heavy. not light on their feet at all. Yeah. And I was... Surprise. But the judges, man, they loved it. They thought it was the greatest thing on the planet. Who knew? Whatever. I don't get it, but, you know, what can you do? Um, Caitlin and Jason were up next. Now, yes. this was the alien Ty? Ty? Tice. Tice. Tice? With the C. Why do I always call him Ty? Because you're wrong. He's my homeboy, Ty. <laughs> um, they, this was, like, where the alien was coming down and blew up the world and found the Had last man. impregnate him. Look, she that the thing that screwed the whole thing up was that costume, which looked like a twelve or no 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 a five year old's toddler dinosaur costume uh, to uh, me. Dancing condom, as Nigel said. A dancing condom. Well, but even st- it looked like a kid's costume. It, it was lame. Yeah, it really took away because I thought it was a cool setup, like a cool story yeah. and everything. But it really like she could have just been wearing a black weird outfit and it would have been fine versus or like a green dinos- alien dinosaur outfit. spikes. I don't know, but it was cool. I it liked. Cool. I liked it. it was something different. Yeah. More weirdo costumes next week. All right, next up was Janine and Philip. You're not a big Philip fan, are you? I think Philip is awesome at what he does. I don't, I don't. He can't do much else on the show besides cool pop blocks. Janine is a hot babe, though. Isn't hot she? babe. She's young. Babe She's Hamlin really King. young. She did a dance. They did the um, hip hop to Tabitha Napoleon. It was interesting. It was the one where they had the chain between them. Really cool concept. Wasn't as exciting as I thought it could have been. I think we were saying this. The song ruined it. I hate that Kanye West song. And it had no beat and no, like, chorus or anything. So, like, there was nothing to keep the momentum of the song. Because they did really cool choreography and the concept was cool. Like, a more exciting song I thought really could have made a big difference. So... Yeah. Little the only other thing is one. also I don't think that their like relationship is that believable for some reason. Maybe because he's so awkward. Maybe. Um, who's next? Melissa and Ade oh, yeah. were next, and they did a pas de deux, and it oh. was the first time point shoes have ever been used on. So you think you can dance? Um, the judges loved it. I <laughs> was so cheesed out. I hated it. I think it's because it was cute. I know they were Romeo and Juliet, and but Melissa was like cheesing the whole time, and it was sweet. She was acting, and she was, she like was staring in at each love, like eyes. Juliet. But the whole time she was like, 
Jeez, she was man. smiling a little too much. I mean, Romeo yeah. and Juliet were, I guess they were in love at that point in their relationship. Before but they I mean, killed themselves. Yeah, so I, just, I, I get it. Whatever. Cool that they had point. Yeah, and they weren't in the bottom. But she, he did do that one lift where she jumped in the air and he caught her. And then she was like swimming her one leg. That oh, yeah. was really cool. She is great. Like, she, she's good at what she does. Yes. Um, Finally. Carla, Carla and Vitolio were up. And they did a quick step, which is like, what they say, the kiss of death on that show when you have to do the quick step. Um, and they got a cool routine. He was, like, in the museum, and he came to life. He was, like, uh, the mannequin. The only part of that whole thing that was good was that dress change. The other, it was just pointless. Yeah, her dress, she had a polka dot dress, and then he, like, pulled it, and it turned into a pretty pink dress. Yeah, that was cool. Which will stop all couples who are fighting, said Kat Dealey, which made no sense. <laughs> Kat Dealey. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Um, uh, it was actually not that bad for a quick step, but both of us stopped watching. When it was on, we both, like, started doing something else. I was like, oh, we're not watching. Clearly, it's not that great. I love but, when you say doing something else. We both were on our computers. We were, were typing. You should see us in our regular life in the living room with computers all over the living room. It's embarrassing. Don't. No, they, we're true, true vlogger, blogger people. Tools. Good God, yeah. Do um. Stuff. So I was not surprised. Wait, bottom three quickly. It was. We never get to do this. It was Carla and Vitolio, and two other couples. <laughs> Kayla and Capono, and Janine and Philip. Oh, yeah, Which yeah, I was yeah. very surprised that those all three of those were in the bottom. I, I that Randy liked, and Evan weren't. I'm surprised Randy and Evan were And I I, I don't. I mean, I guess I don't know who would have been the third. I thought Randy and Evan, Ka- Carla and Vitolio, and I, I guess I don't know who else it was going to be, but I didn't think it would be Kayla or, or whatever, all those other people. And who went home? Carla. She definitely needed to go home. It was you her, really it was her didn't time. like her. I don't She just didn't do much for me. Compared to the other girls, she didn't have a special thing. And shockingly, I think, Vitolio, because that stupid Capono, who didn't do anything in his solo, but stand there and, like, smile and grab his clothes and shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, when they did it, and it was Capono and Vitolio, I was like, Capono's gone, and you were too. I can't believe they kept him. I think he has much more popularity, though, on the show than Vitolio, which is why they kept him. Wow. Agree or disagree? I just don't like him, and I don't care. And why would you do a typical Hawaiian song, you douchebag? <laughs> Because he's from Hawaii. Yeah, I don't care. Like, he thought that I was going to get him points or something. I don't know. He didn't even do it! Whoa. Wow, guys. So, sorry this was a little bit late, but next week we'll be back on track. That's kind of fun. We'll see you then. Bye! Bye!